This is 50. The Heineken is here. Yo, yo, ESSO in the building was popping. And we got a new artist right now sitting down with us. You know what I'm saying? I just got the kite from my man <clears throat> Smith that K Slay was spinning your record. Heavy, heavy, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's your name, boss, man? M3 Rob, man. You already know. And say that, say that slow, cause, cause you know, <laughs> y'all y- 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 young niggas be talking. I, I want to. I got you. M three raw. M three raw. M three raw. What's the, what's that mean, man? Basically, it's, it's just like it was just a name that people called me, cause uh, my first call was M three. You know what I'm saying? That both okay. of myself. You feel okay. me? Oh, you, no, 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 no. That's that's more than impressive. So. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you fucking you fucking light skinned bitches with pretty feet. <laughs> am I right or am I right? I mean, I'm humble with this shit. You feel me? <laughs> <like, laughs> nah, listen, 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 listen. You can't have a hat that says "fuck" and be uh, humble. Uh, <laughs> you, so you out here maneuvering? Right? Yeah, I feel man, you. You got me. You got me, man. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, it was just like it was just like a lifestyle, basically, because you know I don't know if you heard about like M Life and shit like that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's Basically, like a group of like beamers and shit like that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So anybody seem like yo M three raw, like you know what I'm saying? Cause that was my type of car, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I always mm-hmm. loved beamers from, from since I was young. So when they see me with the drop top M three, they're like yo M three raw, like you know what I'm saying. So that's how it was. But that's how I got the name. Nah, I respect that, man. Yeah. So it made you start rapping, my guy. Honestly, to be honest, I never really thought about rapping. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? What you was thinking about, man? Man, I, bitches, <laughs> money. I mean, I horse. work with my hands, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. What you mean, fighting? Nah, like, literally, uh, like, you know. Oh, like, oh you like, work with your hands. Yeah, like, like, you, like, you can build raised, shit. Yeah, you know what And put shit together, like blah, blah, blah. Shit like that. You feel okay. me? Okay. Oh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? One day you driving the M. So you ain't <laughs> never gonna be broke. My mother can make shit and build shit together. All right. Nah, all right. I hear you. I hear you. So you got a steady check always yeah, set up for you to win, but now you wanna go into a lifestyle. Where it's gonna be mad stress, mad fuck niggas, <laughs> and, and un- unloyal bitches. Like uh, I, I'm hey, trying I, to understand. I, I don't understand it either, bro. I don't understand I, it. I, I admire the ambition. Nah, I mean, so, like honestly, if an opportunity is knocking at the door, you got some time to take it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's something mm-hmm. different. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm at the bottom right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's only top. It's only top I could go. You know what I'm saying? But but okay, since you wasn't trying to rap or nothing, right? Yeah. What got you rapping? Was you just, did you wind up just being inside the studio? Did somebody just say, yo, come and lay some shit and you I'll caught the you right bug? Blah, so, blah, blah. Right. so basically, basically, I went to go fix my car one day. You feel me? And then one dude, like a guy that I respect to the most right now, he just looked at me. He was like, yo, yo, you look like an artist. I'm like, I guess. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, you, you sure? You, have you ever been in the studio? I'm like, no, I've never been in the studio. Not one day in my life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, you sure you don't want to be in the studio? I'm like, I <laughs> guess. Not? Like, I'm mad nonchalant. Like, I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't thing. Mm-hmm. It was, that wasn't nothing on my mind before. I got you. And then I just, like, I brushed it off. And then the next week, I came back, you know what I'm saying, to fix my car again. And then he was like, you sure you don't want to be in the studio? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, like, after Fuck one week. It. And then I'm like, hold on. Nah, something going on. Because this dude was asking me, like, you sure? Like, you like an artist, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you got that, you got that image. Mm. And I'm like, nah, something got to be, like, you know what I'm saying? got to be God telling him, like, yo. Draw him in, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I just took him up on his offer. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna take you up on the offer. And then next thing I know, I'm in the studio. So you writing your shit and all that? I write too? my own shit, bro. So you went from not doing shit, not doing nothing, making and fixing shit, <laughs> to somebody telling you basically you need to come to the studio and fact. now you zoning out and you writing your own That's shit. That's a fact. And I, I totally I swear respect to you, that. It was like a hidden talent, like, you know what I'm saying? Because when I write, I kind of like, I kind of enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Certain shit, when I write, I don't just write foolishness. You know what I'm saying? I make sure what I write makes sense. I try to paint a picture in your head. If you hear what I'm saying? All right. So we got through the standard. So let's get through the re- real shit, real shit. Yeah. What's the most shocking things about this music industry thing that you didn't understand that you're now aware of now? I mean, them, them deals, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what type of bills as an artist that I you're like? I said deals. Deals. Oh, deals. deals. Okay. Yeah. My like, fault. You. Good looking. I, I mean, like looking into it, like them three sixty deals, like I didn't I didn't me personally I didn't know about this shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't know about like yo, like certain artists is like they don't make as much as they thought they would make, you know what I'm saying? Starting mm-hmm. off, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll get like ten cents off a off a sale. Yeah, yeah, but I mean I mean like you know what I'm saying? I mean I mean I'm but, I mean, but, I mean <laughs> if, if, if if we gonna get into it, right? Yeah. The three sixty deal is like they don't really rock with that like that no more. Oh, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, they okay, bought okay. that in yeah. when there was no 
nobody selling music. Oh, right? okay, okay, okay. So okay. during that age when nobody was really sell, selling music, which wasn't that long ago, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about 2010. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was when shit hit the fans. Yeah, right? yeah, facts, facts. But when they when they got the streaming shit right, like yeah. three years ago, yeah. four years ago maybe. Yeah. They bought the money back to the game. Oh, okay. So okay. yeah, some of those people are stuck in the 360. Oh, okay. But if you bubbling like you doing right now, yeah, yeah, if you facts. go get a deal, you yeah. can be like, if they try to give you a 360, your lawyer would be like, you just get a lawyer. Man. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm not signing no 360. That's a fact. That's it a don't fact. make no sense because they making a lot of money off and of I'm, singles I'm and shit. And I'm basically not getting anything. Exactly. Yeah. But that rate, you always going to get a smaller rate. Okay. Yeah. Because your rate goes based upon if you put a whole project out, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, so if you put a whole project out, you will get standardly 12 points, which yeah. is a dollar and three cents. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But fact. if you put out a single, yeah, you're going to get 10 cents mm -hmm. because it's a small body of work. They're yeah. not charging 12, 13, 15 dollars. They're only charging 99 cents, dollar yeah, yeah. 99. Mm -hmm. So that's why you would get the 10 cents. Oh, okay, basically okay, prorated okay. down. Yeah, I mean, I'm still looking into it. I, was, I wasn't 100%. You know what yeah, no, like, I'm saying? It's something just that just touched on. I'm like, oh, Listen, all right. The you way he broke, that's exactly yeah. how it goes. That's a fact. Just prorate it down. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and, and then the larger you get, mm -hmm. The more you command, it's like any other business. You okay, know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. You sell something, yeah. you look like you worth something, yeah. then nigga, I ain't gonna lose you. I'll give you 25 <laughs> cents, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, I feel, I feel, and I, I, feel, I, feel. I mean, you know that because you in the making money. You yeah, use yeah. your hands. Yeah, once, you, once you do Verizon, yeah. now now you worth more. Nah, it's now it's now it's you it's want me to do your house, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm doing buildings yeah, to, yeah, to do yeah. your house. It's still 25 racks, nah, That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. 100%. 100%. What's, what's some other things you you've been um encountering that you're like eh, this ain't how it look on on, on the TV. <laughs> I mean um just the process of like like making music like you know what I'm saying like making a song period like honestly like you will listen to a song and you will think that these motherfuckers uh, can I, can I, can I, can I, no yeah, yeah go right yeah, these motherfuckers yeah. be going straight through that shit like you feel me but the punch, process of it punch, yeah punch punch punch, punch, uh, punch, oh, that punch, punch uh, yeah uh, like yo, I didn't know you about ain't that, say shit, that shit bro like right. yeah yo, you sound like you got marbles you feel me like yo you need me to bring you some liquor so you can smoke yeah, yeah you, you feel me and you like damn I thought I thought I was only gonna be here from eight to twelve but I'm here from eight to five yeah just looking at your budget like yo who paying for this I'm telling you son I'm telling you but once you get your little swag yeah, in. Yeah, you'll know yeah. how to break your time That's up. a fact. You'll know when to bring your whores in. Yeah. <laughs> you'll know when to smoke your weed. That's you'll have the sessions where you'll be like, my boys can't come right now. Yeah, you'll yeah. come at 1230. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, right, so yeah, so right. you'll get your shit up because once you work yeah. your way around, you'll you'll get to how it go. That's nah, a fact. It's you know a learning process, man. It's a learning process. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to grasp as, as much as I can as I go along. You feel me? So... I just, I'm just soaking it in. You know what I'm saying? I'm like a sponge right now. You know what I'm saying? I even get my my feet wet. So I'm Did just... you get the hate yet? Nah, not as yet. Cause because you brand new, right? Yeah, I'm brand new, man. Nobody, nobody. Right, well, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, they, I'm trying to be as humble as I can. You well, know it's, it's gonna. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, if you show up to the club with a Louis Vuitton shirt on, the hate already starts. It's I mean, over. Louis Vuitton, an M3, <laughs> a, a fucking record. I it's, hate this nigga. Yo, you know I what I'm saying? That's how I, hate. I can't stand this nigga right, right now. Yo, I see you rolling with my man Smith. You know, he's certified mm. in the street. Uh, what, what, that's a fact. What's some gems he gave you about the industry? Because, you know, you got a lot of him and my man Esso. Mm. My man preach and run the studio. Yeah. A lot of movers and shakers. So what what, what advice have they been giving you? Like yo. I mean, I mean, one thing, one thing. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> it, it wasn't like he directly told me, but it was like, yo, bro, like you gotta step it up. Like basically, like yo, be more professional. Like, that's 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 the main thing. You what you mean, like perfect? Like, like go go. What what like, happened? If if it's if it's if I'm supposed to send a record by a certain date, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Send that shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? If it's supposed to be on Saturday, Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you call yo, me that's Monday. Say, he, be, he be calling like, yo, nigga, it's not, same thing with, this is not how we maneuver. That's a no, fact. Some you nigga mean? shit. I, I'm like, that's not, I'll be like, that's not how that's done. <laughs> yeah, it's a fact. Yo, <laughs> that famous line, I don't <laughs> fuck with that, bro. Yeah, I know it's been six years, so I want yeah. you, he still call me the same way. Yeah. Is it coming out these days? Yeah, yeah, yeah facts, facts. Is it gonna look, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, how you yeah, get your money. That's yeah, how people nah, know you. Fact. That's a fact. You got on me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, it's just supposed to be in there yesterday. And today is today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I already yeah. know. I already it's know true because, because all you're doing is the person that works for you. All, yeah. all you're doing is making their job harder. No, nah, that's a fact. And you setting yourself back. That's a fact. Because with this music shit, it's all about timing. And yeah. I, I'm going to keep it honest, too. All the biggest artists we've ever been around, 
are always, always 15, 15 minutes early. Mm. They always on point. Yeah. The, the, the niggas with like a few hundred thousand followers that got a couple of records on the radio, I won't say their names, <laughs> that are lit, they're always late. They and not they, really lit. They fake, fake lit. lit. <laughs> but <laughs> like, don't even try. They fake lit. But them right, dudes, man. when you be like, why this nigga never can get a single? Yeah, yeah. And there's yeah. like five of them you that see. you know. Yeah, yeah. Fact, I fact. mean, they were supposed to do shows with us. Like, like word to mother, we did a show with a basketball player, and Def Jam was calling us like, yo, y'all made this nigga look like a rapper. Like, this nigga <laughs> really rap? And I'm like, yeah, this nigga really rap. That's crazy. So, because he did, because as serious real. as you taking your yeah, shit, yeah. we'll take our shit seriously, too. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So 100%. being on time, yeah. people take that shit lightly. Being on time, being a man in your word. Yeah. Don't promise nobody be able to say no. Yeah. All those different type of things will take you far 100%. in this game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because not the most talented motherfucker wins. Mm -hmm. It's the person that's more, the most diligent, yeah. that keeps going, yeah. that keeps coming. You know what I'm saying? Word. Consistency. Period. Word. And I, I see you got your team with you, man. Talk about them, like, because y'all ain't here heavy. <laughs> and that support system really is what... Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. I got my man Money Mitch right here. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And then I got my man D Money. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He be making records with me and all that. You know what I'm saying? So these, these my two right hands. You feel me? So, how, how did they help you understand your musical process? Because you like you like you said you came in fresh. I mean, so they had to help you in a whole different capacity. I mean, I mean, Money Mitch don't really be making music like that, but that's my right hand. But my my son D Money right here, like he kind of helped me out. Like he was like, "Yo, bro, like, cause." He, he wrote a song way before me, like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He wasn't even, he was just wrote, writing it just to write, like, just to have fun. And I was like, yo, bro, like, I've never been in the studio before, like, yo, like, help me, like, help me out, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, you actually, you obviously have, like, you know, experience. You wrote one song before, so you must know how to do it, like, yo, help me out. So, I remember, like, the first song I ever wrote, one day me and him was just driving, we about to go link two shorties, and then we just vibing to a beat, like, you know them tight beats on YouTube? Oh, it's vibing yeah. to a beat, and then you just like, my job is too fast, and my job is too fast, and then we just start making that song, man. And yeah, that's how it be. Yeah, and then basically, like, you know, just a little help. Like, we help each other, you feel me? So, it is what it is. Like, all right. So, you know. So, where you want to go with this thing? Like, is it just going to be something that you see that you could do, or are you planning to go all the way with this shit? Or are you going to become a rapper? Man, I'm going to become a rapper, man. I'm going I'm to go 100%, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna I'm go all the way with it, cause obviously, I mean, I, I like it, like, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to build a love for it, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, I, I, ne I didn't have a love for it before because I didn't know that I had that hidden talent, you feel me? So mm -hmm. now that I'm seeing it and I'm actually enjoying it and I'm getting used to it, pfft, I'm taking this shit to 100, man. I'm taking this show all the way to the top. For a person that's never heard of you, never, you know, mo it's probably not gonna give a fuck. You know yeah. how this shit goes. Yeah. What's a record you need to give them to give a proper introduction of M3 Ra? Layback, man. Layback. Layback? Lay Layback. That's the one that's been on visual the visual for night. it? Not yet. I just made that shit literally like last week. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, and w w what's what's a introduction of Layback? Like, if when somebody's going to put that on their phone and press play, what's the journey they're going to go through? Basically, yo, you're going to be on some like, like, there's some shit for the streets. Like, yo, there's some hype shit. Like, you feel me? Like, you be in that shit, you're going to hear, yeah. And then you're going to keep hearing that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Straight into the chorus. You so the song is laid back, yeah. but it's a turn up. Turn. It's a turn up. Okay. Lay back means like yo, lay the lay, fuck back. back. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. you feel me? That's that's that's, that's what lay back go. is. You know what I'm saying? So where you from, though, my dude? I'm from Queens, but okay, I got I got, I got I got I got a red Brooklyn too, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm like that boy. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get the red Brooklyn, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we can get to all that Brooklyn <laughs> shit and all that. I'm from South Jamaica. What part of Queens you from? From Northside, St. Albans. Oh, yeah. I got you, I got you, I got you. St. Albans. St. Albans, St. Albans, St. Albans is like in the middle of North and South Side. I don't right, consider you know? St. Albans North Side. I got, yo, I got my first piece of pussy in St. Albans on, <laughs> on 120th Avenue. Oh, that's crazy. Running dude. straight through. That's Let crazy. Take house. St. Albans, I think right after... Um, What's that other? Cambria Heights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. St. Albans has the second best level of bitches that suck. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Cambria Heights? Get the fuck out of here. I kind of agree with him, though. I'm from Brooklyn, nigga. Get the 
fuck out of here. Nah, because Cameron Heinz got bitches, but Yo, Sam Albans. No, he talking about selling pussy. He oh, talking about oh, bitches. Oh, I didn't hear you properly. Yeah, you ain't talking about this nigga properly. You are, you are, you are. Pay attention to this nigga, bro. I didn't hear you properly, Pay attention to this nigga, bro. That's what I'm saying. He ain't hear you properly. I ain't hear you properly, bro. That's why I still, I'm still giving Cambria Heights over St. Albans. I've been in every fucking hood, B. That's like, crazy, just like yeah. every other nigga in this room right here. <laughs> yeah, We've yeah. been in every hood. <laughs> and the best bitches is where? Um, I would say Cambria Heights. Queens. Where you think the best bitches is at? No, no, you don't even got to say just what borough you think the best bitches is nah, at. Queens all day. Man. That, Queens. I tell you, you want to know why? Queens got the best bitches. Because they, they, they drive early. Yeah, that's so they that's got true. a place for you to go fuck exactly. at. Yeah, they always got a base. <laughs> them bitches got a job. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. You, 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 you gonna have to make saying? a record they about moms that. Moms could live yeah. upstairs, and moms are like, "Yo, I'm gonna cook for you. you can yeah. Go downstairs and smash my door. Yeah. Up. It's all good. You can't they got their do whole that. basement to themselves. Yeah, you can't that, do right? that shit in Brooklyn and all that. So before we close out, what's a record? What's an artist you need to collaborate with? You know that you need. That's on your wish list, hit list. Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. Psst. It's, it's sad to talk, but like, yo, if if Pop was here, mm. I, I would have wanted to collab with Pop. I ain't gonna hold you, like, yo, I listen to his music a lot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And especially when he passed, I'm like, oh shit, like, you feel me? Like, it's, tra- it's a tragedy. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? But okay. yo, some was talented. You feel me? To me personally, like, and I, like the music that he was making, like, yo, like, I shit was, I shit was jumping. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You go in the club, like, five of them just is playing back after back after back. You feel me? So, me personally, I would have wanted to make something with him. You know what I'm saying? I got an idea for you though. You need to collab with a lot. Like it's a lot of New York young people coming up. Yeah. And the way that you need to do it is how all Atlanta people do it, and the California niggas is doing it now. Yeah. Y'all collaborate while y'all coming up. He 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 could collaborate with K Goddess and all the rest of them. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. She's right in Brooklyn. Mm. You in Queens? You swerve with Brooklyn niggas. You put those records out, and y'all know what the game is about. Y'all promote the records, and both of y'all get a chance to do something. hundred no, percent. And then your squad, and you got Smith and everybody else. Yeah. You start pushing the right buttons. Yeah. Start yeah. selling the movie. Yeah. Because it's a popularity contest. It's the same way for us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like people look at us as like as far as, as this media shit, we the rap niggas in the media shit that's yeah. coming up type of <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they be like, yo, look at yourself like a rapper. So yeah. we got the we got the talk game, we got the relationships, but you gotta build up the popularity 100%. to matter to the public yeah, to get 100%. that money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact, yeah. So you gotta focus on that and yeah. you could do that by collaborating with yeah. these other young, especially collaborate. Make your vibe, I'm only collaborating with whores mm. for like the next year. Mm-hmm. Every female in New York City, <laughs> you do a record with them, you nigga, out of you, here. Yeah. You, you, you out of here. Mafia Don. You out yeah. of here. Every other nigga's gonna be like, you out of here, son. Nigga. I can't hate him. Why is he on <laughs> all of these bitches <laughs> shit? She's on Brooklyn Queen shit. He's on K-Goddess shit. Yeah. He's on this other bitch shit. You get on those girls' records. Nah, that's a fact. It's gonna <laughs> speak volumes because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna tell you one last thing before we go. Yeah. Everybody in this music business that's famous, they don't fuck these whores. These whores don't like these mm-hmm. niggas, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. These whores walk with these niggas, mooch off of these niggas, let them buy shit, but they not fucking and they not getting nothing from these <laughs> hoes. Facts, out, of, out of every 10 rappers, one nigga's really pimping. The other nine <laughs> is paying for real. That's they crazy. just got more money. So That's keep crazy. that shit in mind. So nah, you got 100%. the vibe and you can merge with the bitches yeah. right now, yeah. I advise you to do it. I got you, man. I'm gonna M- take your advice, man. M3 Rod, anything you want to say before we, we? I mean, yo, yo, listen out for that layback, man. I'm saying that shit, that shit, that shit coming out on, on send all it platforms. To us. Man, not hundred percent, bro. Send it to us. I, I, I put that shit in my stories. I put that shit on my YouTube. I appreciate you, bro. Like, I, yeah. show, I show love with that shit. Hundred percent, bro. I appreciate you. Man. And I wish you the best, my guy. Right, thank you, man. This is fifty dot com, man. Salute to you know everybody in the building right now. Woo. <laughs>